My name is Sayuri and today I'm going to give you a book review on the book called Dinosaurs Before Dark which is the first book in the Magic Tree House series. These books are written by Mary Pope Osborne and they are adventurous books. This book has few black and white pictures. This book is about two siblings, Annie and Jack. They live in Pennsylvania. One day, Annie was playing a pretend game like a monster was going to catch them. Then she raced alone into the woods. Jack called her name and waited for her to return, but she didn't. Jack tried calling her again and then heard Annie calling, Jack, Jack, come here. Jack had no option but to go inside the woods. Jack heard Annie calling again. Then suddenly she appeared in front of him. She was standing beneath a tall oak tree. Look, she said. She pointed at a rope ladder which was dangling from the oak tree. The rope ladder reached till the top and there was a tree house. Annie started to climb the rope ladder and Jack tried to stop her. But she didn't stop. When she reached the top, she called out to Jack and said, Jack, come here and see. The tree house is filled with books. Jack loved books, so he couldn't resist himself to climb on the top. When he reached, he was amazed to see varieties of books in the small tree house. Jack picked up one book and saw that it was about Pennsylvania. Annie gave him an other book, which was a dinosaur book. Jack opened it up to the page of the silk blue bookmark and saw that it was the picture of a pteranodon. Jack pointed to the picture of the pteranodon and whispered, I wish I could see a pteranodon for real. Ah, screamed Annie suddenly. Monster, she said. Jack thought she was pretending, but when he saw out of the treehouse, he saw a pteranodon for real. Jack leaned out of the treehouse window to check out the pteranodon more closely. Suddenly, the treehouse started spinning. Annie and Jack closed their eyes and suddenly everything was absolutely still. When they opened their eyes, they realized that it was not the same oak tree. The picture in the book and the world outside were exactly the same. Annie and Jack took some time to believe that Pteranodon was real and was sitting at the base of their oak tree. Jack read the description in the book, which said, The flying reptile lived in the Cretaceous period. It vanished about 65 million years ago. Annie climbed down the rope ladder and tried to be friends with the Pteranodon. Jack followed her and took notes about the sh different features of the Pteranodon, like its shape. After finishing all their observations, Jack and Annie went up the treehouse and stood there panting for a while. Later, they peeked out of the treehouse window and saw a dinosaur. It was a triceratops. Again, Jack and Annie went down to take a closer look at the triceratops. Later, Jack found something glittering in the tall grass. He reached out to it and saw that it was a gold medallion with a fancy emblem on it. When Jack was busy doing this task, task, Annie had disappeared again. When Jack called out to her, he heard her shriek along with a bellowing sound like a tuba. Jack ran up the hill as fast as he could and in the valley below he saw many dinosaur nests with baby dinosaurs in them.
Jack also saw Annie being chased by a duck-billed dinosaur, which was an Anatosaurus. Jack guided Annie to crawl and come closer to him. The Anatosaurus's anger cooled down a bit and became friendly with Annie. Suddenly, the Anatosaurus ran away. Jack saw a T-Rex at a distance. Jack and Annie started to run towards the treehouse. When they reached, they wanted to go to their own house, so Jack made a wish that they wanted to be in their own Frog Creek, Pennsylvania house. But nothing happened. Then Annie reminded him that to come here, he had made a wish in the dinosaur book. Then Jack realized that he had left his pack and the book on the hill. Jack leaned out of the treehouse window to see if the T-Rex was near. And yes, the T-Rex was near. So does Jack go to the hill and get his pack and his dinosaur book? Or does he get stuck with Annie in the Cretaceous period? To know more, buy the book. From this book, I learned about many dinosaur names and their food habits. I also learned the tools that dinosaur hunters use to find their dinosaurs' fossils. What I liked about this book was how Annie was trying to make friends with all the dinosaurs she met. Also, please like, share and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Bye!